So let's get into the goals we want to accomplish with this advanced telephone training. Now the first and foremost is installing five-star commercial customer service skills. Skills you would find if you were taught to work at a five-star hotel, a fine dining restaurant, etc. in order to improve the patient experience. Obviously extremely important. The next one is understanding that you are the expert. You are the one with the information, you are the one that's in control, and you are an extremely important person at the practice. Arguably the most important person in the practice is the one that sits up front. Without you converting the incoming calls, you have no practice, you have no business. There's no consumers to be patients coming to visit you. You have to maximize the practice's efforts by first converting onto the schedule. So you're extremely important, you are the expert. The next one is becoming comfortable with scripts and flow charts. One of the things that if you worked at a operational call center uh, or, or really answered the phone for any commercial organization, something that you would be trained on is how to handle a script but not view it as a script, view it as a flow chart. The purpose of something sitting in front of you until you really, really know it. And even then having it in front of you is good because everyone's busy and you have different things going on. So sometimes you need a refresher. But one of the really cool things about that is, is it, it's just intended to tell your mind where you're going to go next. That way the consumer, the to be patient, never places you in a situation that you are uncomfortable with or you lose control of. And, and we're gonna talk about that in just a minute, how the importance or the importance of always being in control. Extremely, extremely important. So don't view it and don't freak out because the next bullet point on there that you see is, is the C-3PO factor. Now for Star Wars fans out there, we call it that because we don't want you to think we're trying to make you a robot. That's not what we're doing. The script initially is a script, it's a foundation. It's what we're gonna train you off of, it's what you're gonna learn off of, and it's what you're gonna follow until you know it by heart. And even when you know it by heart, you'll be following it, you just won't be following it, um, if, you, if you know what I mean. But don't think that you have to be a robot, you can still be yourself. Again, this goes back to a flow chart, not a script. Now, placing more value in the mind of the consumer. Remember, the consumer does not know what you know. They do not understand what you understand, and they do not value what you value. Very important that every word that comes out of your mouth places more value on your practice than anywhere else they have called or possibly will call in the future. Everything from the greeting all the way to the end, they have to get off that call and see the value in what it is you offer. Not clinically, but commercially. Again, they understand a warm, friendly greeting. That's commercial. They understand if you use the proper verbiage to put your practice in a different light, they understand that and value that verbiage. So how do you give more value than any place else that patient, that consumer has ever called? Now, one of the biggest things we're gonna work on is how you improve efficiency. Scheduling patients in less time. How do you take a call that goes four, five, six, seven minutes? How do you get that down to a minute 30 to three minutes tops Get the result you want while still providing a great customer service, the customer service slash patient experience. That goes and directly ties into the next bullet point you see, and that's learning how to take control. 99% of the mystery calls that we do all over the country, the consumer on the phone is in control and the person answering the phone at the practice doesn't even know it. They're in control for a multitude of reasons. One, they're the ones asking the questions and it is putting people, receptionists, front desk people, scheduling experts, etc., in very uncomfortable positions that they are not trained to overcome. So we are going to teach you very specific methods on how to remain in control of the conversation and the next, and that relates next to the next bullet point that's walking the consumer down a path. Just like your new patient experience inside your office, the new patient experience right here starts on the phones and it's very important that every single new patient is being taken down the same path. That way you never leave out anything, you gather va valuable data, and you win far more times than you lose. So walking a consumer down a path and learning how to do that every time is one way that's gonna keep you in control of the conversation. The other one is, is eliminating close-ended questions. Any yes, no question, there's some other examples as well, but the main ones are any yes, no question you ask, you are immediately placing your chance, your chances at a very high level that you are gonna lose control of that conversation. 
The next one, dual close questions. Forming questions in the form of two options. Very, very important, and it also sounds a lot easier than it actually is. Whenever you're scheduling somebody, it always should be via two options. However, it is an extremely difficult thing to carry out. It actually doesn't sound like it would be. When we get into this training, you'll realize in order to maximize it and actually do it the way the best of the best do it, it is actually a difficult thing that requires a lot of role plays, but once it's accomplished, you will run your practice much more smoothly because you will have complete control of your schedule unlike you've ever thought you imaginable before. The other one is, is gathering critical data for your practice to succeed. We have to gather where patients are hearing about you. It is inexcusable to get off a phone call ever and not know that information because again, your marketing division and that division may be you or you may actually have one. Uh, or if you're using our marketing division, then that's us. Our marketing people, you, your practice, and us, if you're using our marketing, we have to know what's working and what's not. You have to know what marketing's providing a return and what's not. And that can get pretty in-depth because it's not only finding out about where the new patient found you, but that's where it ends as far as the new patient call goes. Then you have to gather other data once they're inside your practice. But we're going to teach the telephones. Everybody on the phone's answering has to gather that data. And we're actually going to not only teach it, but we're going to teach you how to ask it in a way that actually is a transitional question that places you in charge and in control of that entire conversation throughout. Now, the last one, and this is on our to-do list that you'll see in another video, is always answer the phone 100% of the time. There should never be an incoming call that's not answered. So those are some goals we're gonna accomplish. Now let's continue though, because it's more. Obviously, all of this goes into, we wanna convert more patients to the schedule. Patients that are price shoppers, uh, you know, if you're an Invisalign practice, they have the Invisalign concierge service where they're patching in uh, to be, you know, consumers to be patients. We're going to teach you very specific methods to get them in. You know, second opinion calls. What if you're the practice they're calling after they visited somewhere else? They're getting a second opinion. Uh, the three days or less rule. Uh, that applies to uh, various different types of practices. Uh, very important when we get that to there and we start talking about it. Now, obviously, we are going to teach and role play how to overcome objections, questions, concerns, etc. They happen to every practice. The doctor's back there being the doctor. Uh, there's questions being asked on the phones up front. They are losing opportunities the doctor never knows about. And that is one of the reasons why dental practices never maximize or very seldom maximize their success because there's multiple holes in the boat throughout. This is a hole in the boat we're going to plug by teaching and training the staff how to overcome anything a consumer would throw at you when you're on the phone. Price inquiries, insurance, what are your hours? Do you treat adults? Do you treat kids? Do you have discounts for? And that may be, do you have discounts for teachers? Do you have discounts for military, etc. And all of this is also going to tie into very specific verbiage that is going to vastly reduce the amount of new patient no-shows and late cancellations that your practice is receiving. Appreciate you listening to the goals that we're going to accomplish with your practice with our telephone training program, and we'll talk to you soon.